Hi everyone, welcome back to Rich's Garage. We're outside with the loader and uh, I've hooked up a load meter to it and I wanted to give you guys a, a look at what this draws. Um, right now everything's powered up. I'm gonna... We're in a bad angle with the sun but there's not much I can do about it for where the sun angle is. So I'm just gonna see if I can sing a little bit. So it will be if not I'll just annotate it. When I post it. So right now, with just electronics running, it's uh, 0.18 amps, 0.2 amps, and the peak is 0.89 when it, when it booted up. So now I'm going to put on the hydraulic. Pump. So now the pump is running. So let's call it 1.8. And the peak is about 2 amps. Alright, so what I'm going to do is do some And at one point I'll drive it in and stall it out uh, with the drive motors on. And then we'll see what the peak current is. Um, so it's a, let's have that as a little bit. Also you'll see the functions I think for the first time. So the, uh, is up. It's dump and back down. Now, let me move this forward a little bit. There are a couple of things that are going on with this. The other little thing I have on here is my uh, uh, little alarm for the for the voltage. There is a little crosstalk going on with the ripper. If I that's fully up. What I've noticed, and I don't know if there's a mechanical bind or if the zero isn't set quite right on it, on the ripper, but when I bring this all the way up, and I go to dump, I don't get the full stroke of, of it dumping. If I keep trying to dump, the ripper will move. See, so it moved down, and also it came down, so it's almost like there's some bleed through or some back pressure somewhere that I have to sort out. But I can live with that for right now. Um, if this is halfway down, and I go to dump, you see how the bucket goes all the way down. So let's uh, do some digging, and uh, we'll take some readings. So right now, I'll back it up, and we'll take a look at what we have with basically not much load on. Both drive motors. Let's see what the peak was. So the peak was six amps, I think. Let's see. Six point oh four. Is that what I said? Yep. Six amps. If you're just driving around. Now we're gonna do some loading. That dump truck is a dump truck. Is from Toys R Us. As uh, you're from the states. You can see it that uh, they've gone out of business, they're in bankruptcy, so uh, it was on sale. So I said, let me get the, let me go ahead and get that. And it turns out it's a pretty good height for this. That's top speed right there. Again, I've done nothing to tweak this or calibrate in any way, it's just what it is. The, um, the battery. When we drive in a little bit closer, you'll see it's just laid inside the, the cab. Um, so let's get this set up. Drive into it. You see she's got... Right, it's slipping a little bit. I'll just pick it up a little bit. I have to admit my coordination isn't exactly great with this just yet. But you see she's got some, got some floss there, right? We have the dump truck, but not in the greatest spot. Uh, let me move that. Hang on. Okay. Actually, let me. You should be able to see it dump from there.
So here's where that not fully stroking the bucket kind of catches me a little bit. Um, and it may just be the geometry of this. It looks like the cylinder's pretty much all the way back. But let's, uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, so what I found is if I the dirt is a little bit wet because we had some rain. We had a lot of rain actually. But um, with the peak is here. Ten points uh I'll show you. It was ten. Ten point two three. There you go with with um when you scroll it out into something it pulls just one point rounded up to eleven amps peak. Um, this will give you an idea as far as if you want to change the battery, because I'm going to look to size this to a smaller battery. Um, and uh, this I can possibly put it inside, but um, it does have some power. I'm pretty happy with it. So you see how the, the ripper came down on me? Let me pick up that thing. And there's some roots under here too that I, I'm pulling up some roots here. Just have to back out of that. See that root right there? So that's going to come. Are free. Ooh. Nope, pretty strong, so I have to cut that. We'll see, maybe I'll, I'll see if I can pull with the with a little bit. Let me show you this part. So for the ripper, I put it down. Does dig in pretty good. There we go. So I'm just going to keep digging a little bit. I'll edit this out, you know, to some reasonable size, and uh, that's about it. So I just wanted to give, like I said, that loading uh, so you have an idea of what this draws. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm going to keep playing with it, and then at some point I'll get into the fine-tuning details. All right, everyone, take care. Bye.